to be of service. Now, my Mr. Rails, all ready for our important film director? Oh, nearly, Ernie. I've just got to finish picking up the litter and give the flower boxes a lick of paint. Excellent. I want everything spick and span for Mr. Movie Jones. I do hope he decides to make his next film at Seashell Bay. You mean we could all be in the movies? Well, you never know. I've always fancied myself as a pirate. Ha ha! A vast behind me hearties! Ha <laughs> You'd better move the trailer off the roundabout. Circle's on her way. Oh no! <laughs> Mr. Rails, stop! <laughs> Stop! What's up, Ernie? Oh! That circle! What if she's got Mr. Movie Jones on board? Stay calm, Mr. Rails. Deep breaths. <gasps> He's not on that train. But he'll definitely be on the next one. <laughs> Why are you wearing a pirate's hat, Mr Rails? Oh, I was practising for Mr Movie Jones. He's coming here to look for a location for his next film. Well, he won't be impressed by Seashell Bay. It looks like a rubbish dump. Oh, I know. And it's all my fault. Ernie to Millie. Can you keep your eye out for Mr. Movie Jones? I'll try, Ernie. Oh, but what does he look like? You know what a film director looks like. Expensive suit, uh, um, sharp shades, mobile phone. OK, I've got the picture, Ernie. Tell all the trains to keep Mr. Movie Jones away from Seashell Bay at all costs. Right, yo. I'm on my way back to International Underground right now. Hi there, Bakerloo. Did you get that rather exciting message from Millie? About the film director? We've got to look for a gentleman wearing a smart suit and sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, but there's hundreds of guys like that in the city. All the more reason to use our powers of deduction, Hammersmith. Hmm. He looks promising. Hey, do you go to Seashell Bay? Ah, uh, I mean, uh, certainly, sir. Climb aboard, please. Millie, tell Ernie not to worry. I've got Mr. Movie Jones on board as we speak. How did you spot him, Bakerloo? Elementary, my dear Millie. He was wearing the right clothes and travelling to the right place. Well done. Take as long as you want. Oh, I'll take him on an interesting little detour. Don't you understand? I'm not interested in mystery movies. But Mystery Mansion is so atmospheric. 
a perfect film location. <laughs> and if you are looking for a detective train, I'm always available. What? Oh, enough of this nonsense. I want to go to the seaside. But not without a visit to the library first. Oh, if he gets on my train, I'll take him to the shops and show him the new game station. I've got your film director, Ernie. Where is he, Bakerloo? He's right behind oh. you. Boy! Are you in charge round here? Yes, sir. Welcome to International Underground. Perhaps you can tell me how to get to Seashell Bay. Certainly. Hop on to Jubilee here. He knows the way very well. Oh, such a waste. Not the slightest bit interested in making a mystery movie. Oh. Shopper's Paradise. Everybody off. This isn't the seaside. I know, but I thought you might need to do a spot of shopping first. <sighs> right, that's it. I'll call a taxi. <laughs> Stop. I'll take you to Seashell Bay right away. There you go. Uh, that's the rubbish cleared. Oh, I, I just can't thank you enough, Mr. Uh, just call me Charlie. It's looking all clean and tidy again. Thanks to the help of my new friend, Charlie, here. You've both done a fab job. No, oh, Mr. Rails never failed. Oh! Oh, no! Fuming diesel engines! Strawberry ice cream! Oh. Is it raspberry? Now, there's even more mess to clear up! I'd better tell Millie. Oh! Uh, how is our visitor? Really, really grumpy. You said Jubilee would take me to the seaside, but he took me to the shops instead. Sorry, sir. Jubilee had to take a diversion. Sand on the line. Always a problem at holiday time. I've got important things to do at the seaside. I'm sure you have, sir. Ah, here's your train. Climb aboard, my dears. He needs a bit of tender loving care, Victoria. Preferably something that will take a very long time, if you catch my drift. I know just the thing, Ernie. Millie, I'm going back to Seashell Bay. We're done. Circle, you can go and fetch Mr. Movie Jones now. OK. And you can just sit and relax. <sighs> oh, what bliss. I want to go to the seaside. And what's the word? Please, please, please. I warn you, he's in a very bad mood. This isn't the sea! Seaside, sir. This way, please. Do you really go to Seashell Bay? All the way. Promise? Promise. Thanks, Mr. Rails. Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> I've never met such a helpful passenger. Oh, cheers! cheers. Ah! Here we are, everyone. Welcome to Seashell Bay, sir. <laughs> At last. Now then, I'm sure you'd like a cup of tea, followed by a tour of the bay and a few locations that are bound to take... Hmm, oh. this is the life. Uh, Mr. Movie Jones, don't you want to look around Seashell Bay? I'm not Mr. Movie Jones. I'm Colin Wilson. I'm here on holiday. <gasps> so where is the real Mr. Movie Jones? That's me. What? what? You? you? You know, you've got a fabulous railway station here. Oh, well, uh, thank you very much. I've decided that Seashell Bay will be the perfect location for my next film. Oh, that's fantastic news. 
And no doubt you will be requiring a new star actor for your film, Charlie. Of course. Some handsome-looking man with great style and charm. Exactly. Ernie, ever thought about moving to Hollywood? Oh, me? Yes, you've got star quality written all over your face. Oh, gosh, thanks. I'll, uh, have a think about it. Ernie. I'm so glad Ernie decided not to become a movie star. Me too. Oh, I knew he'd never leave us. Ernie loves his job far too much. I wonder if Mr. Movie Jones will need some trains for his film. I would make a wonderful detective. And City and I are great movers. No! Forget the movies. This is where we belong. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. You're right, Victoria. We're happy here. International Underground is our home. Hooray! <laughs>